can't justify anything that he said because uh, he's not a sheikh. Correct, you're a pastor, yeah. so you have more knowledge, right? Okay. You cannot come to a Muslim individual that walks on the street, wants to get into a conversation, and start feeding off his not knowledge. If a sheikh came here and yeah. spoke to you, then it's a more logical, understanding, equal level. Hey, they're bringing their, their, their uh, imam. Bring it on. Let me ask you, you're an imam? I am. You believe Jesus, peace be up with him, is God, yeah? yes. yes? And you believe exactly. the Father is yes. God? Yes. 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 And you believe the Holy Spirit is God? Sure. Yes. Yeah. So the question is to you. When Jesus was crucified, what did he say? Someone remind me. Father, Father, why is thou forsaken? Okay, the one he said, oh, Father, why have, why have you forsaken me? You're talking to, Jesus is talking to himself. Sure. So he is forsaking himself. Is, sure. is that what you say? Sure. The, the, the human, the humanity of Jesus Christ died. But Jesus, did he sure. lose his his? He, his, he never loses his divinity. No, no, he didn't he lose his divinity. No, no. So while he was on the cross, he didn't lose his divinity. No. no. And yet he said he's forsaken. Sure. Does God forsake <laughs> his people? No, he doesn't. Oh. That's Are you going to answer that question? I'm going to answer. This is how I'm going to answer. I'm going to answer this way. The Word of God has a relationship with God, but fully represents God and who He is. Can you agree to that? Now, does the Word of Allah represent Allah? If the Word of Allah is true and perfect, yes, it is that it represents Allah. It came from Him because the Word of Allah is perfect and it is the truth. The Word of God are the attributes of Allah. Okay, the attributes, okay? Is that Allah, yes or no? Yes, the attribute, yes. The attribute. Yes, the okay, attribute. good, good, good. So we believe, just like you, that the attributes of God are God, but the attributes are revelations or manifestations of the person. For instance, Jesus being the Word of God is the revelation of God. So, so either you're telling me that you can know God through his attributes and his attributes are God, or you're saying that I need to have either creation or a word or something else that's not God to know God. Which one is it? No, which one is it? We are born in that description that we know God. We believe in God. We born as believers. How do you know God? Because we we born as believers. What was the first one? Yes. Sorry, the first one was the natural disposition, which is Petra. That's what this position Okay, so your body. No, we are born with this. We are born. Bones prove instinct. God. No, 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 no. Instinct. instinct. Yeah. But is your instinct Na God? Natural disposition. First thing. Okay, the natural disposition. Through the prophets and masters. Prophets. And as are the prophets the God? No, they're not. Okay. So what else can prove God? All the universe. So you're telling me the only proof you have for God is things that are not God. You have no this proof of your God, but I have proof because He came and dwelt amongst this us what you in thought. Jesus this Christ. What you this is what you You're thought. telling me I can know God through someone who's not God. I can know God through a prophet. I can know God through creation, but I can't know God through Jesus. Now you told me Jesus Christ, peace be upon Him, is God. I challenge you to point out a single verse in the Bible, a single unequivocal verse from the Bible, a single unambiguous verse in which Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me and I am ready to accept Christianity. Did he, did he claim to be God? Yes. What, where? Where in the Bible? John chapter 14. What he said? 6 and 7. What he said? He who has seen me has seen God. <laughs> this the one. What's this? Would you say the same so statement? Like the father. Who has seen you has seen yeah. God? No. no. Who forgives sin? Exactly. No. But you know what? As who forgives sin? So then, so then why who would you say it? Say it. Say it. The disciples. If, no. if what Jesus said is so, is, is so not... It's not relevant. Okay. It's not relevant. Listen to me. Listen to me. Who forgives sin? If what Jesus said didn't prove that he was saying that he's God, then why don't you just say it? Say it. As well, you know what? I'll tell you something. Just say it. I will tell you something. Say who has seen Mr. Imam has seen God. And as well, there's something. Say it. There is many God from the children of Israel. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay, so are you Did admitting you that you're not answering my question? No. Did you look at Father? Let's say your God. Let's like suppose, let's assume, let's assume this. Let's just answer my question. Can you say it? Do you have seen you? I won't say it. Why won't you say it? Because you're not. Because I'm not God. 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 Exactly. Case done, guys. Case done. Second point. Second point. That's a team game.
enough of my time. I gave you enough of my time. The second point. I'm old, but you know I gave you enough of my time. The second point. I gave you enough of my time. But God, that he gave his one and only son, that whosoever believes in him should not so, perish. So again, I, we had a again, civil debate with Mr. Said, Imam. You said, you said he cannot say he no. who has seen him has seen God. Why? Because, because he said in his own words, he is not but, God. But could there the you go. Say that? But, could the that? but Jesus said it. But could the he, said said it? Yeah, he, he said it. He said it. he's God. So, Jesus so what? Because he's Lord. And he said he's not God. Jesus is the word of God who was God and is God.